everybody video here for you today i have time to make a short one it's a beautiful 80 degree day in las vegas i'm not going to be inside much longer but i hope to get this one uploaded on friday afternoon but about three four weeks ago i made a video on the lake superior copper mystery and i concentrated a lot on isle royal in that video but i also mentioned the keebanaw peninsula and this is where my mom grew up she grew up in chassel right down here Went to nursing school near uh, Hancock. Dad went to Michigan Tech at Houghton. That's where they met. That's where all my relatives. Grandpa's buried up in Calumet Cemetery. Same cemetery as George Gipp, the famous Notre Dame uh, movie subject, I should say. But enough of that. Let's just talk about this copper mystery in this video here. The Lake Superior Copper Mystery, Isle Royal. I did this about, uh, I don't know, two, maybe a month ago almost. But in this video, I said this mystery maybe goes back about 6,500 years. Well, could it be even further back in history? Well, some new research has been done. A new story just came out today, so let's go over to that. I want to say first, before I go over to that story, I heard from a lot of Facebook groups in the Copper Country. A lot of people shared this video, and this one will go over 100,000 views pretty shortly. And that will be the first one, I think, since last fall that has gotten that many views, so I appreciate that. Here's a story that just came out very recently on sciencemag.org. I will leave the link below. Ancient Native Americans were among the world's first coppersmiths. This came out at 2 p.m. today. About 8,500 years ago, hunter-gatherers living beside Eagle Lake in Wisconsin hammered out a conical 10-centimeter long projectile point made of pure copper. The finely crafted point used to hunt big game highlights a new world technological triumph and a puzzle. A new study of that artifact and other traces of prehistoric mining concludes that what is known as the old copper culture emerged, then mysteriously faded far earlier than once thought, but there are some artifacts that were kind of reconstructed in the same way that they made them a long time ago. It says here, archaeologist Michelle Beber at Kent State University made these replicas of copper arrowheads and eyes crafted by people of North America's old copper culture. But the dating of this sets it back a few thousand years earlier than I stayed in that video just a month ago. It says here, the dates show that early Native Americans were among the first people in the world to mine metal and fashion it into tools. It says the study also suggests a regional climate shift might help explain why after thousands of years, the pioneering metallurgists abruptly stopped making copper tools and largely returned to bone implements. It says Earth's largest and purest copper deposits are found around North America's Great Lakes. At some point, North Americans learned to harvest the ore and heat, hammer, and grind it into tools. They left behind thousands of mines and countless copper artifacts, including lethal projectile points, hefty knives and axes, and petite fish hooks and awls. Today, it's not uncommon to meet residents of the region who have buckets of copper artifacts. That they say they have found and tucked away in their basements, says David Pompane, a geologist at Kansas State University. When researchers began to date the artifacts and mines, they saw a perplexing pattern. The date suggested that the people of the old copper culture began to produce metal tools about 6,000 years ago. And then for some reason that weren't clear, they abruptly abandoned copper implements about 3,000 years ago. Now I will leave a few links below. One shows some of these artifacts, but getting back to the article here, it says, the history is just so peculiar, in part because many other ancient cultures didn't abandon metal tools once they learned how to make them. About 10 years ago, Pompeii began doctoral research that cast doubt on the old copper culture timeline. But the new analysis from extracted sediment cores from lakes adjacent to the prehistoric mines on Michigan's Keweenaw Peninsula and Isle Royal and measured trace metals now show that these copper mines began about 9,500 years ago in some areas, some 3,500 years earlier than once thought. It also ended earlier, about 5,400 years ago. It says a team presents new evidence for a revised timeline. The researchers used modern methods to reanalyze 53 radiocarbon dates, including eight newly collected dates associated with the old copper culture. Some came from wood or cordage still attached to the spear points. Others came from charcoal, wood, or bone found at mines and human burials. The oldest reliably dated artifact turned out to be the 8,500-year-old projectile point found in Wisconsin. 
So this dates it back at least a couple thousand years earlier than I said, and in some cases, maybe over 3,000 years. It says, this month in radiocarbon, the team reports that the most reliable dates combined with the sediment data indicate the old copper culture emerged at least 9,500 years ago and peaked between 7,000 and 5,000 years ago. That makes it at least as old or perhaps older than copper working cultures documented in the Middle East, where archaeologists have documented copper pendant believed to be 8,700 years old. But that is very interesting findings. Everything seems to get pushed just farther and farther back into history. I will leave this link below. This story just came out this afternoon. I thought this was very interesting. A good follow-up to the video I did a month ago. But the history here of these people, the old copper culture, it's being pushed back at least two, 3,000 years. But just reading here at the end, this map will be in one of the links I leave below. Approximate maximum dispersal of old copper complex artifacts. So this is just from that time period, thousands of years ago. This doesn't include the Adena people or stuff in the Mound Builders video, at least yet. But it says here, the older window for the old Copper's Peak doesn't surprise archaeologist Michelle Beber, who has studied the culture. The dates confirmed that hunter-gatherers were highly innovative and willing to regularly experiment with novel materials. But here is a map. I just think this is a fascinating story. 9,500 years ago, these people might have merged, so that goes way back into history. At least two, 3,000 years earlier than I stayed in that video a month ago. Just thought that was interesting. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very nice day.